In this video, you are going to see about how does Facebook friend suggestion algorithm works. Facebook is one of the most popular social networking sites which connects millions and billions of people all around the world. In Facebook, you might have seen a separate column exclusively allocated for people you may know. This is a space where it suggests new people to you who are your potential friends. This space is one of the key engagement factors because the number of people you connect with has a direct dependency on the number of hours you spend on Facebook. So, how does this Facebook friends addition algorithm works? It works based on four key factors. One is the profile data, which includes your workplace, education, location, and interest. Based on these data, it will suggest friends to you. In addition to that, it uses your Facebook activities, like what group you are joining into and the persons who are tagged along with you in photos and post. The next factor is contacts. It suggests people who you have uploaded into Facebook or people who have uploaded your contact on Facebook. The last is mutual friends. It suggests friends based on the common friends that you have. Suggesting friends based on common friends deploys a very popular algorithm called common neighbor algorithm. So for this, you can imagine the entire social network as a very large graph where the people, the users of the social networks are the graph nodes and if they have friendship with each other, the connection between them become the edges of the graph. Let us see how the common neighbor algorithm works. To make it simpler, I am going to name the nodes A, B, C, D. Now, our job is to find the potential friends for the node A. So, we are going to find friend suggestions for node A based on mutual friends. To find nodes which are away by a node. In this case, it is node F and node G. To find nodes that are away by a node can be done using the breadth first search in a graph. Once you have collected the nodes which are away by one node, then you need to rank them based on the number of common neighbors. So, for node G, the common neighbors are H and D, whereas for node F, the common neighbor is D. So, node G has two common neighbors and node F has one common neighbor. In the space which shows people you may know, you would see the node G first followed by node F. Come to the end of the video and if you like my video, please do put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Learn With Me Jaya. Thank you.